the the reason i'm running for u s senate is because i'm absolutely convinced that our country is on a course of national decline i think they're very serious days for our country and you look at what i believe is a broken washington dc and too many politicians there who are putting their own self-interest above what's the good of the country and we see so much reckless spending that i think is endangering our not just our prosperity today but endangering our prosperity of our future generations our children and grandchildren i think we see this growth of government unelected bureaucrats making laws and, and having fee setting authority that's eroding our individual liberties um, it's a great concern to me and another big issue that I'm running for is I think we have a confused foreign policy right now uh, in the Middle East. And you know I'm someone who's who's seen um, um, some radical Islamic terrorists who are a threat that we're going to have to deal with for a long time. I've seen them up close, and they're a persistent enemy we're going to have to deal with. But trying to force feed a democracy into Afghanistan, uh, putting 100,000 troops in there, and trying to build a, 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 a democracy in the most remote and backwards country in the world that I've ever been to. Is, is just not a good use of our resources. So I'd like to see us sustainably bring that war to a close and get to a more balanced and reasonable foreign policy uh, overseas. I'm running for office, even though I'm a medical doctor, because I realize we're in trouble. I realize that career politicians, Republican and Democrat alike, have put their careers ahead of you, the people. Okay? They are so tied up, bound, gagged, and shackled and leashed with all of their commitments to their special interests, to their campaign funds, to getting reelected, they do not have the ability or the courage to do what really needs to be done in America. I'm not running because I want this job. I'm running because I want to do this job. Those are two entirely different things. I not only don't want this job, I want to stay a doctor. I love practicing medicine. I'm passionate about it. I wanted to be a doctor since I was that high. And uh, went to the University of Washington for my undergrad degree, went to Harvard Medical School, and I love what I do. And the hardest decision I had to make to run for U.S. Senate was, if elected, I will essentially have to give up the practice of medicine. Well, thank you. Well, I strongly support the repeal of uh, the Affordable Care Act, uh, Obamacare. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible law. It, it, it infringes upon our, our freedoms, uh, and it's going to be very, very costly. It's going to be uh, extremely detrimental to the quality of health care, the access to health care, and it's just a terrible piece of legislation. And the idea that uh, you would have the federal government start this takeover of the health care system with a 2,000-page bill passed in the middle of the night that had to be passed, people understood, and it was rushed through uh, you know, after the Scott Brown election. It's really, really a bad piece of legislation. You know, what we need to do in health care is because we have a lot of increasing costs and, and we do have a system where not everyone's getting the best care, is we need to introduce more choice, transparency, and competition uh, in the healthcare market so that people can make sure that they're providing the care that they receive at, at a better price. And there's a number of things that can happen uh, with that if you want to get into specifics. You know, we need to do things like right now, there's a tax incentive where people are incentivized to get their health care from their employer that's not taxed, but an individual small business owner has a detrimental tax uh, because of that. We need to decouple that, and there should be a tax credit uh, for the small businessman so he's not. Uh, disincent uh, disincentivized to get health care like the, in the current tax system. I also believe that in our Medicare system, we need to do some of the things that Paul Ryan is talking about, having choice and competition. And we can't have a cradle-to-grave welfare state where everyone is taken care of, you know, in terms of socialist European-style uh, system. And that's really what the Democrats are driving at. Here in the state legislature, you know, the Democrats are very open. They want a single-payer system, and that's what they're trying to do with the exchange here. And it's really, really important, in addition to helping support um, Art and I and uh, whoever gets through and beating Senator Cantwell, we really need to take this health care fight to the state level as well, because what's going on with the state exchange and some of these challenges are really going to impugn about the quality of care uh, here. So. It's a big issue, you know, I'll, I'll repeal it, um, um, uh, would vote to repeal it day one and then replace it with something that's more market oriented. Uh, I'm a big fan of health savings accounts, it's something I've supported in the, um, uh, in the state legislature. And I think, you know, this idea is a political, this is going to become one of the main political tests between myself and Senator Cantwell because she clearly supports government running your health care system. And one of the reasons we're going to have, even though Republicans have had a tough time winning statewide, and it is tough for a Republican to win, but we're, uh, the good thing about this election is we have clear, bright red lines for people to vote on, and this health care issue is going to be uh, one of those issues. And we know we have better ideas and solutions for this challenge. We just
just have to clearly articulate them and present them, and, and then I think we can be a, a certainly a winner uh, on this issue. But uh, whether you call it the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, I'm going to start calling it Cantwell Care because she was the deciding vote. It is a really bad law. I, I agree with all of the things Michael has mentioned. One thing that is not talked about very often is the need for uh, strong antitrust um, measures against the insurance industry. Now, let me give you a little background. You all probably remember that in 1890, the Sherman Law was passed, antitrust, under Teddy Roosevelt. In 1914, the Clayton Antitrust Law was passed. Also in 1914, the, the Federal Trade Commission Act was passed. And all three of these major pieces of federal le legislation had significant antitrust bite to them. In 1945, uh, a, a, a bill was passed called the McCarran-Ferguson Act. And what that did was it said that to the extent that states will provide antitrust legislation and regulation of insurance companies, they'll allow the insurance companies to escape federal antitrust legislation and enforcement. However, I don't think the 50 states have done a very good job with their insurance commissioners and their attorney generals and their governors and their legislatures. I don't think in general they've done a very good job enforcing the antitrust legislation. And what we have today is a very, very anti-competitive system. It works against the patient, it works against the employer, it works against the providers because they're all at significant disadvantages to the insurance companies. I'd urge you to go to my website and see my very detailed statements on health care. I think you'll realize they're much deeper, much broader, much stronger than any candidate in this race. That is the kind of depth and understanding we need to reach out to Democrats and win them over. And on that note, I've been endorsed by the Chief of Neurosurgery at the University of Washington, Richard Ellenbogen. He heard me speak on health care policy. Uh, I was invited to be the keynote speaker for the neurosurgeons in Washington State for the annual meeting in April. And he said, Art, I'm a lifelong Democrat, but it's time to vote for the best candidate in your ed. And I'll tell you folks, we're going to win votes in liberal blue Puget Sound on the health care issue. I believe I can do that. I'm very conservative. I'll do very well east of the mountains. But in liberal blue Puget Sound, they want answers to health care. They know they haven't found them yet. I'll be your guy. I'll win the necessary votes to get us over the top. The first step in confronting the national debt is to confront the overspending i.e. the deficit, spending more money than we're bringing in on an annual basis. And, and until we can stop running a de an operating deficit, we won't be able to begin to repay the debt. So it starts with cutting spending. It's not going to work to raise taxes. If you raise taxes in a sick economy, you could just about kill the economy. It's the worst thing. Even, even Governor Gregoire, has said that more than once, okay? And if Governor Craigwar understands that, there's probably something to it, okay? Because that goes against her entire political uh, school of thought. So you don't want to raise taxes. So you're not going to get more revenue by raising taxes, okay? We're probably well out on what they call the Laffer curve. There's a point where you raise tax rates and you don't even get more revenue, okay? It just doesn't work anymore. So, so that's not going to work. The only way we can, we can fix the deficit is, is to cut the spending. Right now, we're overspending by about 31%. We need to cut probably 25 to 40 percent, probably closer to 40 percent, so that we not only eliminate the deficit, but we're in the black. And once we're in the black, we can begin to repay the debt. Now, how do we make the cuts? Everything has to be on the table, folks. Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid, right? All the government agencies. I'd like to really downsize the Federal Department of Education, for example, the EPA, for example. You know what I mean? Uh, the military. Everything's up for grabs, and mostly I'd like to cut the pay of our members of Congress because I don't think they've earned it. <laughs>